Man, last night I was just so amazed at something I never even thought about. And that was the moonlight coming into this foyer through that window right there. It stayed in there for a long time. The way it rose, it kind of started over at this side and worked up and went high and stayed there. And at the angle and the size of that window, that light shined in here for a long time. And it was just so beautiful, that moonlight lighting up this foyer. It absolutely was. And that was a nice bonus to look at that from down below. It shining in up here into this. It, it was just felt almost magical. We're getting ready to pour and we're just covering up some stuff. Covering up the colliding there. They don't get concrete slung around on it. Melinda's got some peppers growing here. We got our curb covered up. We'll just lean that up right here. Here, come, just, come here, I'll, I'll help. Set it down, Nardo. Move it over some. Yeah. Move it over some. Okay, okay. I'm going to lean it. I'm going to be the one. Yeah, okay. Take my wife's pepper. She'll be all. Me, 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 me. But we're building the house. They're ready to go. Hey, did he pour water down inside the forms first? Huh? Already pour inside? Already pour water inside? Okay. Well, here we go again. So this little rooftop CR getting poured right now. They still have the roof to do on top of it after this. Then the only thing else that should be concrete pours after that will be us forming all of the cap around the parapet walls, finishing out these columns and the columns and stuff up on the, the rest of the root deck up here on this top floor right here. So uh, the concrete pouring days are narrowing down quick. Thank you. 
Nardo, you okay there, man? Well, it's almost gas break time and uh, man they've been pouring concrete so melinda likes to fix them up a nice snack if they've been working hard doing a pour she got them some bread here and what did you cook up right here it's huh Sutahon. 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 Yeah, Sutahon. 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 Su Tang Hong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> noodles. A glass noodles. Hey. So Su Tang Hong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a Chinese. You know what? I know I, I know how to translate. She fixed the soup. <laughs> <laughs> You fix soup and you're eating Cheetos. Mm, they're so good. Yeah. So she fixed uh she fixed up a soup right here. Man, it looks really good. Whatever she says it is. And then um from the girls, the twins birthday party, we have some nice macaroni salad. Now this this is a sweet salad. It's got fruits and stuff in it. Oh man, this is so delicious. I asked her to share it out to the guys because if we keep it in there, we're just going to keep eating it. <laughs> and we're going to put on the pounds. So my, what I told Melinda and me goes to say, hey babe, are you going to share that macaroni salad out to the guys? Because if we keep it in the refrigerator, it's going to spoil and go bad. Here's the real story. It's spoiled in your stomach. Here's the real story. If we keep it in the refrigerator, James is going to get fat real bad. <laughs> and Melinda's going to get fat real bad. <laughs> oh, bull, because you've been eating it too. It says the girl sitting there eating chips right now. Uh, so, yeah, just share it out to them. And get that temptation out of our refrigerator. Just get it gone. You like? Let them enjoy it. So, um, you got hot water for them also for coffee. Is this hot? Oh, they're going to eat that soup? Okay. Well, I'm going to go around and see what's up with them before they come in here. They ought to be here any second. Well, here comes the first Indian right now. Yeah, yeah, go over, man. Why high butterfly? Butterfly. They skip the soup and go straight for the salad, huh? Yeah, because the salad is better. <laughs> 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 I'm cold. 
It's good. Did you get a bowl? Mak Mak? No bowl? How full is it now? How far up did it go? Half. So it won't be back because the windows and the doors there, it ought to go fast then. I said it's almost full. All right, guys, that's it. They filled it up right there. It is done. So just now, we all discussed while they were pouring their last uh, buckets into that, uh, how much they mixed today. So they mixed 17 bags of Portland a day. And then I asked Mock Mock and June to add up how many pieces of rebar went in those walls right there, horizontal and vertical and it was 25 pieces plus a couple kilos of tie wire and then the sahara that room is well, let's see five foot six foot it looks like it's gonna be about a six by eight six foot by eight room eight foot tall it's got a door opening it's got an opening for some hall for some of those glass blocks in the end wall here and it's got about a two by two window opening on the other side so with the labor that's the days of mock mock in june working on this over here building all the forms setting the steel and everything and then today's labor of the whole crew working and doing that plus the materials for the concrete the materials for the steel the materials for the tie wire comes out to 16,400 pesos which is also 328 US dollars and you've got basically it's um, eight foot by six foot structure right there but it gives you some dimensions to work with an eight foot tall and that's even including a little parapet wall over here. So maybe if you didn't have these window openings or something and you took that and it went actually in the wall where there's an opening here, um, that'd give you something good to work with. If you wanna break down the math on that. Um, that is what it costs. So it cost me 328 US dollars. 16,400 Philippine pesos labor and materials to build that room. And that's because I've already absorbed the cost on the plywood again and again and again. I've already absorbed the cost on this cocoa lumber again and again and again. You see where we drilled it for different bolt patterns, different times. It's all been reused, the nails pulled. The bolts, the nuts, the washers have been used again and again and again. And so once you invest in those materials, you just keep using them again and again. And it just lowers your cost and lowers your cost. So if that can give you an idea on that, and even my laborers, they all agree, they've all worked on job sites that this is the way to go and uh, they also told me that um, they already know some people around here that have adopted this and are doing it too so that's pretty flattering to me that it's caused a little movement but it's definitely a way to go 328 US dollars to build the shell solid walls when we pull those forms it's going to be just like this solid walls four inches thick imagine what you could build for two thousand dollars everybody i'm gonna close out another day
driving by here. We'll close out another day here at the build. Um, it's been a great day for the guys to get this done. I didn't push them hard. I just let them work at their own pace. It's a lot of work lifting that concrete all the way up to the third floor. And, uh, and we didn't take on any additional help. They were really busting pretty hard on it, you know, um, trying to get it done. Things that an employee usually never hears from their boss is to say, hey guys, slow down. Don't do it so fast. But I don't want anybody to get hurt, pushing hard, get tired. Um, that's when accidents happen. So I appreciate them really trying to hump on it but us not taking on any additional labor, mixing that, toting that that far up. Um, I want them to take their time on it. And it worked out. Um, they've got about like 20 minutes left to the day. They only started this four after lunch at one o'clock in the afternoon. I gave them an extra 10 minutes on their break at three o'clock. And uh, plus we fed them up. So that didn't take too many hours on that. And when I counted that labor, I counted as a whole entire day labor. I didn't count it for a half day labor, you know. So think about that as well. $328, really, probably less than that, to build that restroom right there. Uh, that's not finished out. But hey, say you're on a budget. Say that you just want these smooth concrete walls and you're just going to uh, render and paint them and you're gonna leave a concrete floor. Maybe you're not even going to paint the walls. Uh, maybe you're going to build a house out somewhere and you just want to get the structure up and you're not worried about the aesthetics of it at the time. And hey, the concrete wall is good enough for me. It looks better than a hollow block wall. Everybody, I appreciate you watching this and I'm going to close out the day. I'm going to get down here, hang out with the wife and the kids. I'm going to end this video just showing you a little bit out here at the beach again. And I uh, hope everybody is doing good out there. Don't let all of these world problems get you down. I know it seems like every time that one problem seems like it's starting to go away, a new one comes around. That is life. That is life. And, uh, make the best of it while you're here. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. God bless.